Hello everyone, my name is John Dole, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now we have some interesting news that came out recently. Popular Japanese um, chain restaurant, Yoshinoya, has recently announced that they are going to set up farms in Fukushima Prefecture. They will be, going right, they will be growing rice and vegetables in Fukushima and they will establish a processing factory to sell those goods in their shops. Now, if you don't know who Yoshinoya is, a very popular gyudon chain restaurant. It's kind of like fast food Japanese style. All right? I've been there many times myself. It's cheap. Gyudon basically means beef bowl. You'll get, basically you'll get some beef some onions and some rice, a little bit of soy sauce. A few other little tidbits there, time to time, depends on which bowl you get. Now, Yoshinoya itself said that regarding this move, that they hope this will help to support reconstruction efforts in Fukushima, as well as to cure low price vegetables for their operation. Ah ha ha. Now we're starting to get to the heart of the matter. Let's take a look at this a bit, right? Now, first thing they say, Yoshinoya, is we hope it will support reconstruction efforts. It won't. And let me explain why. Now, I did a video a while back covering the total <laughs> mishandling of the reconstruction fund that was approved by the Japanese people and put in place by the Japanese government. So there's already a ton of money set aside, but it's not being used. I'll try to put a little annotation link here in the video so you can check out that vid report where I'm discussing that, okay? Uh, okay, so, like, and then the second thing they say, which is really, really, really where the dirty comes out. They talk about securing low-cost food for their operations. All right, here we go. Capitalism in action, my friends. Yeah, there's a little festival going on in my hood. A little weekend thing, community. But anyways, we're getting to the heart of it here. It's capitalism in action, man. Now, Yoshinoya really don't give two shits about Fukushima. Nor do they care about the people there. Nor do they care about this joint venture, which they're officially calling... Fuku uh, let's see, I think it's um, Yoshinoya Farm Fukushima, which is going to be placed about 80 kilometers from the actual Fukushima Daiichi. All right, they don't give a damn about that. They've seen an opportunity where farmers are struggling up there because they can't get, can't grow anything, can't sell anything. So they're going to use their corporate, <clears throat> excuse me, their corporate might and all their money. To throw behind this effort. To push it onto the shelves. Now, here's what they're going to be doing. They're going to grow all that food with the farmers through a um, co-op. Now, what they're going to do is get these farmers a break from their own co-op. Which serves their interests far much better as far as farmers go. But Yoshinori's throwing a bunch of cash. As a government in Japan the past few years has been a bit hesitant to give subsidies these farmers have been struggling for years. So they come in for a lot of money. They can build things. They can do things. So these farmers, of course, are going to break from their own co-op and join this corporate co-op. Now, once that happens, well, most likely they're going to become quasi-employees at Yoshinoya. They'll probably do a contract deal or a commission deal so they can disavow any connection if, when shit goes bad. And they'll probably pay these farmers a um, tiny percentage for their, for their goods and their work. Take that to the processing factory they're building. And then build up all of that. And then sell it in their own restaurants. It's quite tragic, you know, because Yoshinoya 
I know it's a capitalist corporation, but I tell you, in Japan, especially in Tokyo, Yoshinoya and places like that, picking up a quick, cheap gudon, really means a lot for a lot of people. I've experienced it myself, you know. Working class here in Japan, Tokyo, you're making shit for cash. You get off work kind of late, you're hungry as hell. You have maybe a little bit about 350 yen on you at that point. That's about $3.50. I can't really buy you much of anything as far as food, except if you go to a, a gyudon place, like Yoshinoya. And I've been there many times. But now, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable to eat there anymore. I don't feel comfortable to go there. Because I'm fully aware of what they're up to and what they're trying to do. Now, all of this relates back to the overall... A uh, campaign that's titled Support by Eating. Now, there's another vid I talked about a while back. I'll try to get another annotation link to it. You can check it out. Where it was a sh restaurant in Shinjuku who was um, serving cesium laced beef to his customers openly, telling them what they were doing. All right. Telling them to seize him in the beef, dropping the price down a bit, and saying, come on, eat it. So support of the farmers and the ranchers up in Fukushima, up in Tohoku, have a bite. Make them feel better. It wasn't really about supporting anyone. It was about maintaining the capitalist circle and drive for profit. That's what it was all about, okay? That's what this whole you know, support by eating campaign. And Yoshinoya is just simply taking advantage of that. Now, this hasn't been widely published in the Japanese media, but it, it is out there, and I'll put a link below to it, okay? So guys, that's what's going on, okay? I really would hope that a lot more people would take the time to look up an article on this, or take this video, and spread it around, all right? Look up this campaign called Support by Eating. Get your articles up. All right? I know a lot of you are limited what you can do. And I've given people shit for that in the past. Internet, internet activism. And I do my own form of internet activism, but I'm on the streets as well. You can see now, I'm on the street. I go to the demos, go to the protests, talk to people, know people. There's a lot of things that I know that I can't exactly make a video on. But I will shortly. There's going to be some interesting vids coming up. But anyways, spread this around, okay? Let people know what's going on here in Japan. Expose the capitalist system here. And how it is reacting to Fukushima. So until next time, this is me. John Doyle, as always. Checking out.